in Singapore during lockdown. I hope everybody's okay. Actually, I didn't have plans to do a video today since na postpone yung aming interview sa DZRH, so sayang ang makeup. So here I am because I've been planning to do a video on uh, how to look good in Zoom meetings or virtual meetings. Kasi, you know, welcome to the new norm, wala pang face-to-face, -face, especially here in the Philippines. So lahat virtual, like I have Zoom meetings almost every day, sometimes twice a day, three times a day. So we have to treat virtual meetings like we are going on a face-to-face -face meeting, di ba? Sapat naka-fix pa rin yung self mo, nakaayos ka pa rin, from buhok to makeup to what you wear. Okay, kahit mag-shorts ka na lang o mag-bikini, bottoms. But anyway, I'm just joking. So what are the tips to really look good in Zoom? Ano mga annoying ding habits that you see with people while on Zoom? Kasi sa Rotary, yung mga ginagawa namin eh, na we have Zoom meetings every day. So first tip that I'm gonna uh, give you is you have to find your best angle. Okay, and how to get your best angle? Dapat ang camera should be uh, align ka level ng face mo or a little bit elevated. Okay? So, paano mo i-elevate kung wala ang tripod or what? You just put in stack of books para medyo elevated siya. Hindi yung naka ganun ka. Okay? Sometimes ganun lahat eh, which nobody wants to see your nostrils anyway. Yung lahat, but naka, nakadungaw kasi sila sa laptop. And that's a very, very unflattering angle of yourself. Okay, dapat level lang or a little bit elevated para yung sa photos, magpa-picture ka because it can take care of your eye bags, nawawala yung eye bags and then you look slimmer pag naka-ano yung camera. Okay? So that's one thing. And the second most important thing is find the best lighting sa house mo. So if possible, go by the window para you get the natural light. So pag, pag nasa window ka, don't uh, put your back sa window kasi itim ang makikita. So, dapat you have the light shining bright sa iyong face, hindi sa side or sa likod mo. And pag wala namang natural light sa bahay nyo, just invest in in ring light. It's very cheap sa Shopee and Lazada and it really, really gives you a very, very flattering look. Okay? And of course, before the Zoom meeting, find an ideal location. And bigger is not always better. Okay, na yung tahimik, away from distraction. Kung pwede pa lang, if you do it in your room, lalagyan mo ng don't disturb. Okay? But of course now, like in Rotary, we're having our virtual background, so it doesn't really matter kasi nakikita ang virtual background mo. And if you're in a company, you can always do your virtual background like yung, yung brand ng company nyo. But of course, if you're doing it like a background sa yung, sa, yung house, sa house nyo is uh, do it na presentable. And that's actually the next tip is you have to declutter your surroundings okay if you plan to do it in your bedroom then at least man lang make your bed because what's in your background says a lot about yourself okay so don't show like mga racy photos mga controversial background or controversial title of books because that can actually distract your the other viewers like nakikita yung mga posters ng mga nude oh what is that or ano mga controversial Ano, uh, titles ng book. So you have, just have to to avoid that. And of course, before the Zoom meeting, you just have to tell your, you know, members in the household now you're gonna have a meeting, so please just leave me alone and, you know, uh, cooperate with me by not uh, disturbing me. And last but certainly not the least, but before that, of course, dress well, like you're going on a face-to-face -face meeting. So no pajamas, and unless you're attending a pajama party, of course. So be presentable as if you're really going on a real face-to-face -face meeting. And for the girls, a little makeup will go a long, long way. Kung hindi ka mahilig sa makeup, at least man lang put a little bit of lipstick and a little bit of powder. Kasi ang camera really gets a lot, yung light ng camera gets a lot of light from your from your face and then I use it um, you know your face your hair 
a little bit of makeup, your wardrobe, and then pick the right accessories, what you mga bangles or mga chunky that would make noise all the time. And for the men, of course, ang men less effort lang sila eh, kasi wala silang makeup. What you see is what you get, di ba? So, yun, and then avoid uh, during the virtual meeting itself, avoid any annoying um, habits like eating during the meeting. Of course, when you're having a party, like you have an, an inuman or some party, you can, you can eat and drink. But I'm talking about real business meetings here where you are talking to people you don't even know. Okay, and last but certainly not the least, and the very important thing is please know how to mute yourself. If it's not your turn to speak, then always put it, put it in the mute um, button. And I'm guilty also of that. No, one time nag, nag meeting kami ng aking mga kasama, fellow Rotarians, and then I didn't even know. Uh, I had a call and they were just, you know, waiting for me to finish and they all heard what I was talking about. And that's what's really, really embarrassing. So know how to mute so everything will just go smoothly. So that's all. I hope you learned something. And then there's going to be a lot of, you know, webinars or Zoom meetings, virtual meetings are here to stay. So we want to look. It's good, right? Okay, see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.